We're excited to return to training, but first we must follow the proper protocols to ensure that all players, coaches, and families stay safe. Upon arrival for training, players will be greeted by a Legends FC admin and asked a few questions about any possible exposure to COVID-19. Players should arrive to practice with their training gear already on, as well as a personal face mask, soccer ball, and water bottle. All players should also bring their own hand sanitizer and apply upon arrival. Our admin will take the player's temperature and clear him or her for practice. No player with a fever should attend training sessions. Players will then be directed to one of two waiting zones, Zone A or Zone B. All players are to walk directly to their assigned waiting zones. Family members must remain in their cars for the duration of training. All CDC recommendations, return to play protocols, and other necessary safety information will be clearly posted on the field. Coaches are to clean and sanitize all training equipment before and after sessions. The waiting zones are split up into multiple grids of at least six feet apart. The coach will assign each player a grid where they can leave their belongings, including their face mask. The coach will then assign each player an individual training zone and explain the session for the day. Individual training zones for players will be clearly marked. Coaches will lead their training sessions and maintain a social distance of at least six feet from all players. Once training is over, the coach will release each player, one by one, to their specified areas in the waiting zone. Players are to put on their mask immediately, collect their belongings, and return directly to their family's car. No socializing with other players after practice will be allowed. Implementing the return to play guidelines will require a cooperative relationship with the club, coach, parent, and player. While the club must create a safe environment, the parent must make the decision for their child to return to play. If you as a parent are not comfortable in your child returning to play, we respect that decision. Finally, players must adhere to and respect the social distancing requirements and contact guidelines that have been established.